ladies and gentlemen, after spending the past 14 months ranting like a complete madman on a consistent basis about the out of line activity happening on America's card room after making multiple videos about cheating happening on America's card room, talking about bots, talking about collusion, talking about tournament exploits, talking about cash game bots, tournament bots, sit and go bots, after a Dill, Dear Phil Nagy ACR CEO video that I made, man. After ACR issued refunds of tens of thousands of dollars to the players. After I made my initial videos. After me talking about, we gotta clean this fucking place up over and over and over again on my Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, on my podcast. Pretty much everywhere I possibly could. Completely sounding like a madman to some people out there. And how much I repeated this and how much I stuck to this and how much I believed that there was a big problem happening on the site. Finally, 14 months later, America's Card Room CEO Phil Nagy has come out and admitted there's a problem on the site. They need to clean it up and they are taking the steps in the direction to get rid of these bots and to refund players money that were impacted by these bots. And America's Card Room CEO Phil Nagy has agreed to come on my Poker Life podcast Monday, April 29th in the evening time and have a one-on-one -on -one sit down with myself. And we're going to discuss the issues currently taking place in America's Card Room, what exactly the plan is to fix it, and who exactly knows how this conversation is going to go. If you guys have been following along with this, you will know how much of a monumental special thing this is for me to finally have this take place because this is something that I've cared more about than I, maybe, I don't even know if I've really cared about something else more than this in these past 14 months, man. I'm sure you guys saw me with the videos I made before, looking like a complete madman, like a fucking mad scientist locked in the basement, hairs all crazy, losing weight, going skinny, sounding like a nut job for the most part, really, talking about this, showing stats, showing all these graphs, putting up shark scopes, all this type of stuff like that. And, um, you know, finally feeling like he came out with a statement, he said... He let the personal issues get the best of him when it came to admitting there was a problem with the bots, which I'm assuming he meant the issues that he had with how I came out with this information, how I presented the information to the people, the way I went about it, which does make sense. I wish this wasn't the case. I wish this didn't get in the way. I wish it didn't take a viral video on Twitter of a heads up of a bot playing heads up in a tournament before they finally decide to take action and start getting rid of these bots. I wish I came out with those videos initially and they said, you know what? There's a problem. We got to get rid of the bots at PLO. We got to get rid of the bots at tournaments. This is a real fucking issue. This exists and we got to stop it. I wish that took place. Unfortunately, it didn't. But the time has come where maybe we are going to take some steps in the right direction and clean up this site to make it a great option for players in America to play tournament and play a cash game. So Phil Nagy put up a statement where he basically said... He put up a video as well. And by the way, I got a lot of respect for Phil deciding to do this. Like I said, I wish it came sooner, but at the same time, he didn't have to do this. Didn't have to post a video about it. Didn't have to give refunds to players to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. We could argue that maybe if he didn't, the site might die. The, get, the tournament might die. The cash games might die. It'd be all bots. But at the same time, he did take this step. Players refunded money. Bot accounts are being banned. I sent Phil the other day a list of up to 30 accounts that I believe to be bots at the PLO cash game. I'm going to put them up here right now in the Google spreadsheet. These bots have played hundreds of thousands of hands on the site. They play tens of thousands of hands with me personally. Some of these accounts are some of the biggest winners on the site in my database at the small and mid stakes. I can't imagine how much money I've been impacted by playing against these bots in the past time. So now that we're getting these tournament bots cleaned up, hopefully we get some of these fucking cash game bots out of here, man. These guys are ripping off poker players, real poker players like myself and like many other Americans out there around the world by operating the, this botting software system, working together potentially at the table too. Sometimes there's two to three accounts at one table to say these guys aren't working together, colluding in some type of way. I do not believe that that is not taking place. And if it was taking place, how are we really going to find out with the current security in place? If these accounts have been allowed to operate for as long as they have some accounts playing up to 600,000 hands on the site. If these accounts have been able to operate so long, just freely, as obvious bots with matching stats across the board with other accounts. 
then how can we possibly police properly if the colluding and card sharing software is taking place with these accounts as well? So I'm going to ask Phil Nagy about that when he comes on my podcast. I'm very excited for this moment. I don't know what the tone will be like. I don't know what the vibe is going to be like. I'm going to treat this conversation with respect and with professionalism. I know it's heated on both sides, on my side and Phil's side. But at the same time, I think we can be mad about this. We can come to an agreement that we both want what's best for the site, that we've had our differences in the past, but we can move past these differences and try to improve the ecosystem for the American poker players out there. Because us American poker players, man, we don't have many options out there, man. There's a few sites. There's these these app sites, man. There, there's you depositing through these motherfucking agents who are scamming, who are stealing money from you. It's just we need a place that Americans can play poker on. And legalized poker is is far away in the future. And that has its own issues in terms of making that a great product. So this is one of the best options out there for tournament players. The biggest guarantees out there for tournament players. The cash games, the software is great. You can multi-table on the site. There's usually a lot of action. Unfortunately, I believe it is due to bots. But I do believe this site has great potential. And that's been my argument all along. This site has potential. I'm not trying to ruin the site. I don't want the DOJ to come shut the site down. American poker players are making a living on this site. I want them to continue to be able to make a living on the site. But I just want these goddamn games cleaned up, man. At least try to clean them up. It might be a losing endeavor, but at least give it a shot. Put in some effort. Give it a chance. So hopefully we are going to see some steps in this right direction coming up here. And, um, you know, I don't know, man. I, I just, just excited about this, man. 14 months in the making, I feel like, for me. You know, have this one-on-one conversation for you guys out there to see. Ask the questions that many people have at, have wanted me to ask, man. You don't understand the messages I get about these videos. People come up to me all the time. Thank you for making the videos at ACR. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for putting that out there, man. You know, I didn't even realize how big of an impact it would have on people, but people are like, thank you, you saved me money. I was losing money on there. I thought I was losing my mind. And, um, you know, I mean, that's crazy, right? Like, it's crazy that it had to come down to me making some fucking videos out there sounding like a psychopath. But... Sometimes that's what it comes down to. And, you know, there were refunds issued before, refunds being issued now, hopefully more refunds issued in the future. And while that ACR might take a hit short term, the rate goes on forever. So hopefully, if they are able to get rid of this problem, clean up a little bit, clean up a medium way, at least put up a goddamn fight against these guys, because we know they're going to come back. We know, I mean, listen, these guys, they close the account, they come back. But you start taking their money, you start hitting them where it hurts, and then maybe we might see some big difference and they might move on to another site. So that's what I got to say, guys. I'm coming here from Running Up Reno. Quality's kind of shitty in here. Lighting's kind of shitty in here. Audio, I'm using this microphone. Uh, this microphone I bought is kind of shitty. But I just had to put this video out there, guys. Big announcement. I'm just really excited about this, man. You know, really excited. So that's it, guys. Much love. Tune in. See the podcast Monday, April 29th. Peace out.